students learn a lot of uh, technical skills, software skills, and also team and leadership skills. So they really get a broad foundation of industrial and systems engineering. Uh, we also have a master's and PhD program, so students can earn a master of science in industrial and systems engineering and uh, a doctor of philosophy in industrial and systems engineering. And if they go to the graduate level, they will specialize at, at some point either in operations research and management systems or in manufacturing systems engineering um, or in human factors engineering and ergonomics. LaShawn Nevins is a top performer in the industrial and systems program and has already chosen her specialization for grad school. Well, I applied for the GEM fellowship and I uh, obtained it, so I'm going to graduate school to earn a master's in industrial systems engineering focusing on human factors and ergonomics because throughout my undergraduate career, I realized through industrial engineering, there are different tracks you can take in uh, manufacturing, operation research, human factors, and production. So I found that human factors is more interesting to me because I'm able to help somebody's job be safer and easier for them. And that's what I like doing, helping people do their job easier, safer, and quicker and more efficient. So that's what I plan on doing, going out and earning my master's degree to learn more about it because I was told if there's something you want to learn more about, go to graduate school so you can learn more about it. The academic exposure that LaShawn and other students have experienced is pretty amazing. We're working more on strengthening our international partnerships. So we already have a strong partnership with uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology uh, located in Ghana. Uh, but also we're working on a new partnership with um, uh, University of Nottingham, which is located in Nottingham, United Kingdom. Uh, so those are crucial too because they, again, help us to build stronger teaching and learning partnerships, but also connecting our students in a lot of ways so that they stand out in the, in, you know, the pool of competition for ISC jobs. We um, try to maintain um, state-of-the-art uh, methods and instrumentation because uh, industrial and systems engineering, just like many other fields in engineering, change uh, quite rapidly. So the next best thing uh, is often just a year or two out. Um, one of the things, uh, for example, is that when we look at the simulation and drafting software that we use, uh, we're using state-of-the-art simulation and drafting software, um, AutoCAD, and uh, several other types of software that help students um, kind of remain step, you know, a step ahead. Sean's plans for the future are pretty solid. I'm hoping after I gain an industry experience to start programs in different communities to help people learn more about human factors because in learning about human factors and ergonomics you learn about yourself. So knowing that when you try to remember a phone number you group words together you can help do things easier and know that there are certain techniques you can use to make things run more smoothly and more efficiently in your life. So hopefully you'll see me with a column or programs out in the United States with uh, human factors uh, related programs. That sense of community was forged with her fellow classmates on campus. And with the, the students, everybody wants everybody to do well. So we'll go to any lens to make sure everybody gets the work done. They're, they're study for the, they study for the test. We have group uh, study sessions, group homework sessions. I think everybody has a sense of community and the fact that you, you're in the same major as, as I am, so you know the struggle I'm going to go through, so I'm going to help you out to make sure you don't struggle as much. They get uh, a really strong uh, degree that makes them very marketable. So it is the best choice and the best place to come. And I'm not just talking about North Carolina, too. I'm talking about even outside of North Carolina. ISE at North Carolina A&T is the best place to be, really.